Hello everyone, this is the Holy Stone HS340. And this is another little Diddy micro uh, type quad. It comes with these um, blade protectors, but to be honest with you, uh, you, you got to put them on yourself if you want to. And they got this little bit here, you know, the two pins there. For, okay, now we got this light right. Um, I'm going to take them off. I already put them on there just so you can see what it's like. I know you can see it on there, but um, just so you can see what it's like on here. But let me just take these off because that's not how I fly it. Now, this works. It's a little bit noisier than the other, the 170, which is my favourite out of the two. Um, because, uh, the first of all, the HD video with this, I'll put this little bit of video up just while I'm telling you this. Uh, as you can see with this bit of flying around, this isn't, um, it's not very good. You've got to go very high to be able to see just in front of you, and that's no good. So, well, if uh, imagine if you're this tall, yes, this is you standing on the ground here. In order, you, you couldn't get a shot of you like this, because it's only going to see the floor down here where you are. You're going to have to be up here like this, at this angle. Um, I don't know if you can really see the angle that the camera is on, but it's very much, it's worse than the Hobson. I, I would say it's worse than the Hobson. At least the Hobson, you know, 10 feet off the ground, you can look and you can still see a bit in front of you. Uh, and of course, you know, if you start moving forward, this gets even lower. So <laughs> if you were just to sit here at this angle, looking at this box and you're up here and the box is down there and you just keep it still, okay, fair enough. You might be able to take a picture of that um, but if you're just trying to fly around the floor and use it for FPV or anything like that you know absolutely absolutely forget it you have to go in there and make an adjustment to that I thought about it and I thought if I go into it which we can actually do um, it's just while I'm talking we'll start taking this thing apart uh, let me just tell you what you get with it you get a, a controller don't like these compared to the ones with the um, sticks I much prefer the sticks, a lot more control. Uh, this also has center sprung, both sides, so you can't do anything about it. They're not gonna be um, systems like in the Trianus where you can set it up so you can have the spring there or not. You know, you, it's gonna be a single unit in there and it's gonna, yeah, you've got absolutely no choice on how this works. I did think about using it like this and I did try, but my fingers kept slipping off here, so that's no good. Noting that sticks there, that's not a, but it wouldn't normally go as far as that with this thing on the top. It can only go to the edge of that then, so it wouldn't get stuck. Um, a couple of nice features on this. If you uh, long, if, I think this one is there. So if you do a quick press and then do a direction, it will flip over to whatever direction it is. Boom, and forward to do that. So one quick and do this in whatever direction you want it to flip. If you hold it down, there's a thing called circle. So wherever it's pointing into it, we'll actually just start going around in the circle. Now, I'm sorry that um, I haven't actually got any video about it because I tried doing a little bit today, and but it was quite windy about, and you can't really fly these outside too much. And I want to see what it actually does before I try it inside. Mm. Maybe I could give it a go, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, maybe I'll put a bit on the end, the end of the video I feel brave enough. But uh, yeah, so you get that, you get the auto auto takeoff on this one. It doesn't actually, it just arms the props. So you have them spinning there and then you use the, the throttle obviously to take off, to, to um, ascend. What I don't like about this is because this is such a small movement, you've got quite a lot of zzz, zzz on your throttle. Not so bad because it does try and hold it steady when you let go, it sort of sits relatively where it's where you leave it of course if there's any side winds or anything it's going to blow around there's no gps lock or anything but on the yaw you've only got one speed you can pull it all the way over and it's exactly the same speed as if you do a little tiny bit <laughs> which can be you know okay but not really if you're just trying to hold it somewhere maybe move but 38 pounds $38, it pretty much equates to the same thing. So yeah, about $38, £38. Amazon again. 
I thought I'd get it just to see what the camera was going to be like. I don't expect a lot out of it for that amount of money. So this, whatever I'm saying, you know, the camera angles and all this sort of thing, and it's a little bit noisier than the other one, it's $38. It's got a camera in it. It connects via Wi-Fi. Now the Wi-Fi in the app does work, and you can actually... Um, you can actually use the app. Look at this app. So first of all, you're going to make sure that you've got your Wi-Fi on. Uh, I've got my Wi-Fi on there. It will then do a, the connect in the manual. You've got the bits and pieces. It'll do connect. You just see where it gets the, the holy stone um, in the Wi-Fi and it connects automatically. You've got to go and download this HSFPV. Uh, the app off the Google App Store. Pop it in. Because you've already got your Wi-Fi connected and it's paired up between the quad and the controller, we can just hit play. And there you go. Now, because I know there's going to be some sharp, sharp eyes out there, I'm just going to put you out your misery now. Yes, I've adjusted the camera angle. So now, yes, I can actually see in front of the craft while I'm flying it. And as you can see now, you can see the bottom of this box here. Because the camera's, you know, pretty much equal with it. Now, you also get to see there the lag. So if you are going FPV, oh, let me just back that out a bit, I'm going to try and get my hands to coordinate. Uh, I'll even move that forward, there we go. Now if I turn right, turn left, and while you're flying around you see you're going to be doing a lot of this maybe. And so, counting and correcting can be a bit of a problem with too much lag. So just putting that out there, so you know. Um, let's have a little quick look at the app itself. So, top left you can see there's just the back, and that will take you back to the front screen. The next one's the photo, and it, of course if you press it, it will take a photo. Uh, you can click to record for your movie video. This one, I'm just going to hit because I don't know what it does. But I'll let it actually view your photos. Um, you've got this power button which enables you to have the controllers on here but I don't like that because it's too easy for you to get your hands all over the place that's just my opinion some people are going to be into this and that's fair enough with that you get to see you get to change the speed ratio from here you can do it all on the controller I'm not quite sure what this one two thing is here possibly that's something to do with the circle I thought that was more of the sit sign for the circle that I think is the auto ro ro rotate possibly Oh right, that's to rotate which uh, which uh, thing is on. Now that's quite interesting actually, because if you notice there, if I do that, it pops back up again. But if I do, which one was it? This one? That one is, oh right, that just doesn't do anything there. And that, there's everything here. Maybe that's the headless mode then. Possibly. There you've got your VR, so you can put it into two if you wish, if that's what you're into. Uh, I don't have the things, if I had them I'd probably do it. That could be the headless mode. I could lock this. Not quite sure what that's for. Possibly headless because it's got all directions there, but I don't know. It's going to have to play around with. But I don't like flying it like this, so you're not really going to get much opportunity. I don't feel like I've got the control over it, you know, you sort of... You can't tell where your thumb is. I like to know the position by feel where my thumb is on the joystick uh, this doesn't give me that, I don't get enough feedback so I don't like that one Never mind. let's have a look, so put this back on and I'm sorry but I miss these now from what I can see this is going to be the takeoff and land alright this is uh, you know it's the, the motors aren't going and I'm not sure why that wouldn't actually do that but, and then you've got this gesture thing so you can uh, slide start. To please make a hands gesture with your right hand for recording a video and a peace gesture uh, for taking a photo within three meters under a light filled circumstance. We're not going to try to do that because we're not very light filled circumstance. This one I thought was interesting. Uh, you got this. So with this you draw on here. Let's say you go do and then make it come back maybe I'm only going to get this fly thing to do this now I've not tried any of that but that does look like it could be fun 
And then you've got voice commands, start, land, forward, backward, left, right. Um, yes, I don't think I'd want to do that one, but there's the option for voice command if you're right into flying from here. So, I, w I don't know if we did or didn't press... Okay, that's to rotate the screen. You don't want to do that while you're flying, especially if you're just FPV in it. So that's a good one to bring that one in. I thought this might be screen rotation, but that takes away this one two thing. No, let's do it. We do it like that. All I'm trying to see if that rotates. Yeah, so I don't actually know. Then that. This is just controlling the throttle, and then this is you can just control what it does by drawing on here. Well, we might have to go and try that. And yeah, interesting. So, there's that bit as well. That's why I just I'll just use it as this. But there you can see, so you get a bit of an idea. Look at the uh, at the lag situation. If I once again just do this. Uh, turn to the left and then turn to the right and you might be able to guess that one for yourself right so that's that part uh, I'll show you the footage that you get off uh, the app and see so you can see what that's like a little bit of footage there you know it speaks for itself really again I'm going to say that it's 38 dollars for the whole thing for just again flying around in small spaces like this not as much control i'd say again unless you've got real doing fingers as what you're going to get with this you get some spare screws there's a whole bunch of screws underneath two oh my god two four six eight ten twelve uh fourteen sixteen we've got sixteen screws underneath to get apart and four on top that's 20 screws in total to undo I have to find a screwdriver. It's not the one that comes with it, but it will do. So, uh, hmm, what can we do first? Well, that's pretty good then. So let me just do that again. Does that work every time? Okay, so that turns that off. And if you do it again, you can also do this, and this will just drop it out of the sky. And that's when it's up in the air, because if you try just pressing that button when it was actually uh, flying, it would just start bringing it down to the ground. Oh, I can't really show you circle and flip in here. And you've got three speed settings. You've got uh, the first one that we're in, and then two and three. I think you can... There's two. There's three. Back to one again. You can take a photo if you do a short press. It takes a photo and if you do a long press it runs the video and you get to see that I'm really sorry I don't have the ability to show you that I'll try and figure something out and I'll put it on the end of the cam but you get to see in the app where um, you can see you know take a photo you, can, you got you got the, the little uh, on the touch screen <clears throat> that you put in there now this is uh, all well and good for a I don't know what size, I've got a Samsung S21 and that seems quite big and it's quite ugh, like this. I think if I was going to do any FPV work with this type of thing, I'd, I'd have my tripod with my monitor on there, um, meaning uh, the tripod with the clamp and I could put my phone in as the monitor because it works across Wi-Fi. So I can't use my analogue. Uh, receivers to pick this up because it's using Wi-Fi but I have noticed when I f I took it downstairs I left it up here on record and I took it downstairs I went down there I had a perfect picture but <clears throat> this is one of the things about these as well uh, there's quite a bit of lag I mean we're talking quarter to a half second lag in between you doing this and then it showing you that on the screen now that, for anybody trying to do FPV or anything, even without considering the, cam, the, the, the camera position issues, like if we're FPV in here, all I'm going to see is this here. I wouldn't be able to see what's in front of me. All I'm going to be able to see is what's down here. And to me, 
that you know, it's just gonna be white and that's no good all right yeah, that's just no good and even higher it's still gonna be the same thing um because that is you know that is really quite 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 looking down like i said down on the ground you're gonna be up here to be able to see that and that's no good if you're down here because all you're gonna get is grass or you're not gonna be able to see anything so you know that is a bit of a downside with it